do you feel that AJ is catching Klitschko at the right time? Or does Klitschko just has enough experience? Do you know what? It's a, it, I'm not sure because I think, you know, it's he, Klitschko's been going a long time. So, you know, you could say he was there for the taking, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think that's not really giving Tyson Fury enough credit. You know, Tyson Fury is very awkward. He's six foot nine, big guy. I think more than anything, he absolutely believed in himself that he was going to beat Klitschko, where I'm not sure every other fighter that fights Klitschko thinks that. And so, was Klitschko poor or was Fury good? You know, and I think it's probably a little bit of both. One minute. But, um, but you know, it was uh, Joshua. Joshua's more stand-up, isn't he? He's kind of stand-up. You know, he's more predictable, he's more readable than Tyson Fury, who, like I say, changes styles mid-fight. You know, and he's a big guy, you know. Andy Joshua's a big guy, he's an athlete, but he, he is kind of, he does stand in front of you, he is there to be hit. Anyone else who's done that with Klitschko gets knocked out. So, interesting fight.